Today I'm going to show you how to enable the SIN check digit and the SIN number system functions on a Zebra device. This specific Zebra device is an MC33 and this will be pretty common across uh, most Zebra devices as far as the steps that you need to take to enable these features. So let's dive right in here. Uh, you can see that I have a barcode over here on the left and this is a standard UPCA barcode. On the far left you can see that there's a 6 and on the far right there's a 0 that are kind of not a part of this middle SKU number here. So the one on the left is the number system and the one on the right is the check digit. And so a lot of times these devices out of the box are not configured to read either or of these two digits, either the number system or the check digit, or they're not configured to read either one of them. And so then they'll just capture right here from the nine all the way to the four and leave off the two digits at the end. So you can see where that would cause some inaccurate reading. If your system's expecting the entire SKU number from beginning to end, including the check digit and number system, then you would get an invalid scan in most cases. So there are ways to turn that on, and that's what we're going to demonstrate here. So first, let me go ahead and open up my data wedge. Let me go ahead and turn these off. I'm going to show you what it looks like if these are turned off by default. All right. And I'm going to open up my data wedge demo application one more time. Here we go. And so if I scan in this barcode, and you can see it does. It leaves off the six and the zero, the beginning and the end. And so, again, if you're looking for these characters, if your system expects these characters and they're not there, you're going to get an invalid item number in most cases. And that is a very common issue. So let me go ahead and swipe up from the top. All right, and we're going to go into Data Wedge. And we're going to go into Preamble. Now, this is what they call the number system, or Preamble in this case. And you can see there's a Preamble Sys Char. And so that's what we want to click on. Then we're going to go ahead and also click on the check digit. And that way we pick up the first character, which is that 6, and the last character, which is the 0. All right. And we're going to go ahead and open up DW Demo again, and we'll try to scan into this field one more time. All right. You can see it did include the 6, and it does include the 0 at the end. So now you've got the entire SKU number collected by the imager. And this is how you set the number system and check digit on a Zebra device, specifically a Zebra MC33 in this case.